वेलकम टू पुणे ये जोर ये नासी ये मक्का ये बाजरी पहला हमारा प्रोडक्ट था ये ये मत मुझे श्रीखंड था उससे बना है बाद में कमरा खंड ये सबसे बेहतर चलता है हमारे पास इट्स अ श्रीखंड मेड ऑफ मैंगो समवन लाइक द स्पाइसी एंड द मॉडरेट वन टेस्ट द ग्रेट इज व्हाट कम Welcome to Pune, once administrative capital of Maratha Kingdom, now cultural capital of Maharashtra. Now Maharashtra is a very unique place. It's truly a rashtra, a rashtra of various cuisines. If you see the coastline, then it has Konkani cuisine. If you see the northern part, then it has Sahoji cuisine, Khandeshi cuisine. If you move from Konkani towards the central part of Pune, then you cross Pune. So you have Puneri cuisine. Then you have Satara specific cuisine. Then you have Kola Puri cuisine. So it's truly a rashtra of flavors. Now, if you talk about Puneri cuisine, you'll predominantly find vegetarian uh, evolutions or vegetarian food forms. in pune or in puneri cuisine it's because it was a kind of a brahman uh, dominated uh, kingdom so very vegetarian recipes were preferred here but at the same time if you see satara cuisine it's primarily non veg dominated or you can say mutton dominated now chicken has also come into it but authentically if you see it has been always mutton in satara cuisine kola puri you will find mix of veg non veg all kinds of what forms konkani you will find seafood more uh, because it's on the coastal line saoji again super spicy uh, all kinds of meats meat forms very very um uh, it's 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 worth trying we are staying in hotel sheraton grand as you can hear maybe uh, noises of the train engine uh, we are on the terrace it has a beautiful terrace it has a uh, pool side as you can see it has a bar which you can see and it it has got really nice rooms so if you are visiting pune do check out hotel sheraton grand as well just next to the railway station Let's explore this rashtra of flavors. Let's explore Pune. We are at Durvangpur Dining Hall. It's on Tilak Road. It has unlimited veg thali and many varieties of Maharashtrian food. So let's try how it tastes. And my friend has brought me here, Shailesh. And Shailesh is a localite. Well, not a localite, but he is, lives in Pune. He is actually from Sholapur. Now he has told me that this place offers the best authentic Maharashtra thali. And you can be, you can see various options in Pune on internet uh, offering Maharashtra thali. But Shalish tells me that this place offers the best Maharashtra thali in Pune. So we'll just go and try. What is it like? What is Maharashtra thali like? What all items it has? And whether Shalish passes the test or not.
So now Shailesh will tell us what to start with. Before we have our thali, we will have salad, chutney, spices. What makes up a perfect Maharashtrian Puneri thali? Shailesh will tell us. So Shailesh, from which item you are starting with? What is it? So this is in Marathi we call it koshimbir. It's a mixture of uh, finely chopped cucumber. It has some curd in it. Then, in some cases, it is given a tadka with oil and jeera. But they have not given it, right? They have not given it, and they have added some ground nuts to it to make it crunchy. Okay. Yes. So that's a very simple version. They have just added cucumber, curd, and ground nut. There is some salt for taste, and they will also add some sugar to it to make it sweet. So this is about it. So this is the side. Okay, so this is a side side salad. Yes, side salad. Yeah. So we can see all these spices also. Yeah. Now we know nimbu. Uh, what do we call nimbu in Marathi? Limbu. Ah, limbu. Limbu. And achar also we know. Salt also. What are the other three items? Can you just? Yeah. So this is this is pudina chutney. So this is normal. Pudina chutney has chili in it. Green chili? Ah, uh, no. So this is a chutney of groundnut, okay. groundnut and uh, red chili. Okay. Yeah. So is it the same thing we put in vada pav or is it different? Yeah, it's content wise it is same. Preparation wise it might be a different. Yeah. So this is also a chutney, and you call it in Marathi we call it karal. Karal. Ah, karal. Karala chhi chutney. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. So what is it made of? Again, chilies. So uh, there is a spice called karal, and uh, there will be some jeera okay. and salt. Okay. okay. So and what gives this a black color? Why is it like dark color? Yeah, it's because of the ingredient karal. We are having this thali now. I must say it's like a supply chain. It's like a conveyor belt. You get as I've shown. There are tables. Thalis are already set there. It's very well organized. It's a, it's like a MSME, a very micro business which runs its assembly line. The production line I've already shown you. How chapatis are being made. How the distribution starts, and now the distribution has happened till the last point, and now we are here to taste how this small industry works like. So we know uh, this is shall we? This is fruit salad. So this is fruit salad. Uh, it has mango in this. No, not mango. It has. Uh... Anar, it has pomegranate, then uh, banana. Okay, so that's why this yellow color and thickness comes. It comes from banana. Shrikhand, we know. Shrikhand is very famous in Maharashtra. So we we'll definitely taste this in the end. So this curry. So this curry doesn't have much tadka in it. It's plain curry. Must be a little salty. Yes, so it's made of sour uh, chas or sour yogurt. So it's, it tastes like that. It's a very unique recipe. It's different from what's available in North. So Shalish tells us this is sauli. Shalish, tell me. Saudi ji, usad. Now usad is gravy. Usad is gravy. Okay, and saudi is dal. Ha, saudi is a kind of a dal sprout. And is it same we 
eat with misal pav is it the same thing no no this is different this is different. in misal pav what we have is the mor okay and this is different so it's a kind of lentil huh. and this is dahi vada any special maharashtrian flavor in this or it similar to the other dahi vada as on the curry it's similar I mean, now what is this that is mixed veg so that is mixed veg mixed veg yeah different kinds of vegetables put together now this is dudhi right dudhi yeah right so dudhi has like 10 names in the country it's called loki it's called kia it's called bottle god Yeah. So this dudhi, what's the preparation in it? I can see some chana dal in it. Chana dal. And some coconut in this. Yeah. And simple. onion. Okay. Very simple. Uh, Tarka. Okay. No, not much spices. Very plain and simple. So that's dudhi. All bottle go and recipe. Now they have served manchurian with this. It is a disappointment in a Maharashtra. <laughs> But other than this, Manchurian, everything looks very good and authentic. So this is thali feet. How it, how is it made? Why and why is it different from a paratha or roti? So it is made of mixed flours. Okay. There is dal, there is wheat, uh, and then there is jowar also in that. All kinds of dals are mixed. Okay. and this is normal roti so this is varan bhat uh, shalesh is telling that no maharashtrian meal is complete without varan bhat so basically it's white rice it's dal plain dal and we have garnish this with the spices which we discussed so that's varan bhat varan is dal yeah dal and bhat is dal. rice so tur dal and rice very happy with the experience all together very nice maharashtrian thali uh, must try for anyone who is visiting pune and wants to experience maharashtrian culture and mm-hmm. owner also came to us uh, he was sharing that uh, they make all their spices on their own so even the raw spices they themselves uh, go uh, to the market and grind them and uh, make their own spices so that's how you maintain the consistency and authenticity really good really impressed another thing uh, about manchurian which the owner was telling is that i was disappointed with the manchurian so he told that uh, they serve sabudana vada also uh, they serve on alternate days they serve different uh, snacks so sabudana vada might have given a authentic uh, feel of the place other than that if you come in summer season that is the mango season they serve amras and my friend shalesh tells me that when they are serving amras since it's unlimited thali uh, people just throng this place just for the amras and keep on eating amras more than regular food so it's really fascinating and even like we have just spent one hour here and we can see already people are crowding this place Uh, the waiting line has reached the ground floor while the place is on the second floor so kind of uh, the craze people have for this place i think the indian mindset especially for the unlimited thing uh, and authentic thing and that's what this place fulfills for them so really good experience must try must come here we are at chitle bandhu mithai wale but in english if you read it's chitle but in marathi there is a special word the last word in chitle which is read as l in english or maybe hindi but it's actually r so chitle bandhu mithai wale now we are here specifically for snacks for snacks to eat with tea or munching snacks and one special snack in maharashtra which you should never miss is bhakarwadi well haldirams serves bhakarwadi but many people say if you have not had bhakarwadi from this place then you have never tried bhakarwadi so let's go and try bhakarwadi 
it's full of spices it's full of carbs it's fried but kya kare we have to try green tea pi lenge so let's try bhakarwadi let's try other snacks at chitra window trying now one piece of bagar wai see this it's full of spices very thin layer of uh, dough so basically uh, masala is prepared and it's wrapped around a dough it's really good medium spicy as per in your standards so we have mr dahi bati with us he works at chitle uh, one of the branches at chitle so he'll share very special product which they have made it's a shrikhand made of mango so he'll share namaskar sir pehla amar products sa he he mat mujhe shrikhand tha usse banaye baad mein amra khand ye sabse behtar chalta hai hamare paas iski quality bahut acha hai सबसे बेहतर चलते हैं हमारे पास आमरा खंड ये कौन से मैंगो से बना हुआ है ये हापुस से हापुस का बना हुआ हापुस तो बहुत महंगा है ओह सो दे हैव अ वेरी बिग कलेक्शन ऑफ स्वीट्स एज वेल आई थॉट इट्स दिस प्लेस इज नोन जस्ट फॉर भाकरवाड़ी बट दे हैव रियली गुड कलेक्शन ऑफ स्वीट्स सो वन ऑफ देयर फेवरेट एंड द मोस्ट सेलिंग प्रोडक्ट इज दिस मैंगो बर्फी दिस इज मेड ऑफ हापुस मैंगो और अल्फोंसो मैंगो एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट Uh, selling product of theirs apart from bhakar wadi of course so let's try and find out it reminds me of aam papad aam papad jaisa lagta hai meetha bhi hai khatta bhi hai bahut acha taste hai so it's not just like highly sweet and sweet it tastes like aam papad that's why i think it's very famous was aam papad in general is very famous so another famous product here apart from bhakarwadi and uh, mango barfi is special chewda chewda so uh, here it is uh, we don't have sample to taste because uh, it's it comes from uh, like it directly comes from the factory so we'll show you and we'll definitely buy it and try it after some time and then we we'll, we might uh, give you that feedback so this special chewda is also like one of the most selling items here so let's take feedback from a customer uh, hello ma'am hello uh, would you like to Hi. give us feedback of the products at chitra uh, right now i'm buying panni from chitra i know chitra this one is not the adulterated one that is the main point of chitra that is why i Preferably, I buy paneer from Chitre, and the other thing which I like from Chitre is bakar vadi. That's the authenticity. That's the that's the taste, flavor. You know, which you'll not get anywhere all over the world, I suppose. And yes, because of the authenticity and the freshness, that is why I like about the product. Thank you. So, guys, I have just checked out of the place. Um, one thing for sure. As an Indian, it's like a very proud moment for him that these places are actually converting into a brand, and they are not like uh, just you know uh, ending up like a standalone shop and then maybe cease to exist after some point of time, which we have seen how Indian good Indian shops have not been able to convert themselves into brand. But this place, I think, just for the sake of the way they have made themselves into a brand. uh i think it's really appreciative uh definitely uh, and uh, 
the person at the shop also told me they export it a lot. So some products are made for US market. Must visit Chitade. So we are at Survey restaurant in Pune. They call them pure non-veg. So let's check out what all cuisines, what pure non-veg cuisines they offer. We have ordered three dishes. One is mutton arni. Arni in Marathi means without salt. It has a special preparation. One is chicken, uh, sorry, mutton khadra. But Shalesh will give us the right pronunciation. It's called kharda. Mutton kharda. Kharda, right? And then third is mutton sukka. So we'll know from Shalesh that how mutton kharda. Harada. Yeah. Harada is made. So it's actually made from green chili. But how is it made? It is a special recipe. So Shalesh will share it with us. See, Harada is basically a chutney of green chili, raw green chili, then a little bit of uh, jeera and uh, the salt. Salt. As in, uh, there are big pieces, stones of salt. Rock salt. Rock salt, yeah, rock, rock salt. salt. They are all together mixed in a stone grinder or crusher which is available in our homes. What do we call it in Marathi? That stone grinder? So, so Marathi is Khalbatta. Khalbatta? So, we put it in, uh, in that uh, stone grinder. We put physical work to Haan. grind it. Yeah. So, we grind it manually and it will fine paste. Ban jati hai. So, this is this dish. This is the green chili paste which Shalish is talking about. It has got mutton pieces. Mutton is fried in this recipe, in this paste itself. It is cooked. And as we sh have shown you that even, it is roasted from the top. The fire is actually roasted from the top to enhance the taste of the mutton. So we'll taste it and we'll share our experience. Mind you, it's very spicy because it's green chili. Let's, let's see. So this is arni. Arni is basically mutton is boiled without salt. So arni in Marathi means without salt. But this dish is not without salt. Then why its name is arni? Its name is arni primarily because it's boiled without salt. Because if you put salt, then mutton will lose its own water, and then. It won't have that taste. So, especially in order to enhance the taste and bring all the flavors of the mutton, that's why it's boiled without salt. And at the end, in the end, the salt is put from the top to give it that flavor. And as you can see, the soup part of it. This is the soup, which is primarily uh, mutton broth. You can say in English. So, sukha is nothing but uh, gravy of tomato, onion, and it's fried. Hello. 
So I have a friend with me with whom I have come to this restaurant, Survey restaurant. And he tells me that the flavors are distinct to Satara. So let's hear from Rahul. Uh, Rahul, what do you like about Survey's food? So definitely quality uh, is one of the best that you can uh, get in non-veg in Pune. Uh, also flavors are very distinct uh, from the place uh, of founders of Survey, which is a Satara, uh, which is a part of Western Maharashtra. So you can feel the tinge uh, when you eat uh, non-veg here, uh, which is very uh, specific to Satara of Maharashtra. So we are at famous FC Road in Pune. So FC Road means Ferguson Road. It's a Ferguson College, which is very famous in Pune. Now, uh, my friend suggested that why don't you try Mr. Pao? Now there are various versions of Mr. Pao. There is Puneri version. Uh, again, there is Kolapuri version. Uh, then there is Satara version. So everyone makes their Mr. Pao. There's a little difference uh, depending upon which regions Mr. Pao you are making. I think it sounds like a fusion food and I'm very hungry. I think this will be my dinner. Let's go and have uh, what? Misal? No, no, no. Misal, when you are Maharashtra, you should speak the word uh, not la. Okay? So say it with me. Misala. You'll get a habit. Don't worry. Misala Pao. Let's go and try out. So they have like different bowls of mesada. Now what is this? So basically, as we have heard about Pune's mesada pao, it's actually in different flavors depending on the region. So this is ये वाला कौन सा? कोलापुरी. ये कोलापुरी है. पुनेरी. ये पुनेरी है. ये नासिक है. और वो जैन है. Jain is without onion and garlic. Yeah, so without kanda, kanda is onion. Spicy, Jain without panda lasu, or in a sick pala masala. So now we know why it's called barbecue. So they have put the coal at the bottom, and that's how the smokiness is coming in the food. And that's the bread basket which has come. So, what do you think? This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. ये मटकी और ये कांदा नीम ये मटकी है ये बोआ ये बटरा का भाजी कांदा नीमू नीमू डालू So we are having Puneri first, as you have seen how they have assembled it, so that's what I like about Maharashtrian food. This is how it looks, full of spices and ingredients. So we are having this with bread and pao. Now, while Mesar 
producer is of very Maharashtrian origin. But do you know from where the breads and the powers came from? Irani. So the Parsis, when they came to India, they brought these baking items with them. We have plenty of options to explore how the culture of the Irani culture came into being in uh, Mumbai and eventually influenced the Maharashtrian culture. Now we are going to try the Kala Masala. So this is Kala Masala. So it's called Rasa. So let's ask a few customers. Hello. So maybe you can tell your name and then tell why do you like this place. It's really tasty, sir. If someone likes the spicy and the moderate one taste, definitely should come in. Okay, so all all kinds of method you find here. Someone is like different different taste here. Okay. We can have a uh, spicy cola puri also. That we have jain also. If someone does does not prefer uh, garlic and onion, they can go for this also. And then kala khatta from the Nagpur and then the khatta pita also. So all the tastes are here. So anyone can enjoy here. So if someone is uh, liking. Uh, this uh, spicy one, they can take for the spicy one. If they are like khatta pita, they can go for khatta pita. So everywhere else, we do not get all these uh, mixture of the spicy and the khatta pita. That's why it's great. Thank you. Hello, ma'am. Hi. So you are. Uh, do you like this place, Mr. Pao? Yeah, it's yummy. So why do you like this? Uh, for any specific reason? Uh, no specific reason. I like Maharashtra. So I think I like it also. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So finally we had all kinds of method at one place. We had all the kinds. Uh, that was the good part about the place. Uh, we tried all different kinds of rasa. So rasa is the curry which they make uh, with the spices. And when they mix it with different kinds of uh, snacks and lentils and sprouts uh, and even poha, so that then it becomes a misser. And you can have it with bread. We can you can have it with pav. So the good part I like was that I got to taste all kinds of uh, misser available in Maharashtra at one place. Uh, else I would have had to go to all the places to explore. Very nice place. Uh, you must try uh, this place. And this ends our Pune trip. This was the la last stop in Pune. Uh, we are heading to airport. And uh, we'll meet you soon in the next video. Till then, green tea pee lena.